hello friends welcome back to civil depth bd today i will show you how we can solve this type of warning in etaps here after analysis etaps telling us that the structure is not stable that means the structure is unstable or ill conditioned this warning can be displayed by etaps for two reason or for two cases here at first i will discuss about the case number one if I go to set display option, then under the object assignment tab, frame assignment, here I will select end releases. Here in this structure, we have some secondary beams. So for those secondary beams, we released moment at the end. Click on apply. Here you can see. Here also. But at this portion, you can see that I have released moment for this secondary beam also I considered this beam as secondary and from here this beam is also a secondary beam which is not practical I have done this by mistake because this is the primary beam and this is the secondary beam right so what I have to do is that I will at first go to the all stories then I will select this two beam then I will go to assign frame Okay, at first I have to unlock the model, right? Assign frame, release slash partial fixity. I don't need any release, so click on apply. Similarly, apply. Okay, and we can join these two beams. Basically, this type of uh, mistake happens when we divide a primary beam due to the modeling purpose. Okay. So I can join this beam. Okay, this is a single beam actually. Again, I will select these two beam and join them for all the stories. Now, if I go to analysis or run analysis, Okay, fine. You can see that it has um, done the analysis and it is not showing any error message or warning messages. Okay. Now let's discuss case number two. Okay, here I will go for. 3D view. Now I will go to run analysis. I will pause the recording for saving some of your times. Okay, analysis done. Here you can see the same warning. So, how to solve this warning? At first, just unlock the model. Then go to select, select object type. Okay. Do the analysis again just for uh, showing you some basic thing. I will go to run analysis again. By mistake, I unlock the model. So again, I will pause the recording. Okay. Same thing again. But I need to show you some uh, basic thing before going to the next step. That's why I done the analysis again. Now I will go to display. Then go to force stress diagram. From here, I will select frame slash peer. For any load combo, suppose here I am taking this combo, I need to check moment. So if I go to any specific elevation, suppose here I will take elevation A. Here you can see the negative moment, which is around 121 kilonewton per meter. You can increase the text height also. Suppose if I use 10, click on OK. Here, maybe now you can see 121 kilonewton meter. This one is 136. Now I will solve the issue. Then again, check this pending moments. OK. I will unlock the model. From here, I will go to 3D model. Now, Go to select, select object type, 
and select joints from here select close then delete all the joints okay no need to be confused here these joints will not be deleted here only unnecessary joints will be deleted by e tabs that means the joint between column beam will not be deleted at all again go to run analysis for your confirmation i will show you the bending moment diagram again after the final analysis okay now just i will pause the recording okay analysis complete and you can see that there is no warning now let's verify the bending moment diagram i will go to, from here also i can select the same options okay now here you can see this same value that means minus 121 kilonewton meter and for this portion also minus 136 kilonewton meter so by using these two method you can solve the unstable error or warning messages in etaps that's all for today see you in the next tutorial thank you